Um, so this has been a video that I've been wanting to make for a long time, but each time I went to record it, um, it never felt right. So this video is for those who are thinking about coming out and for parents who feel like they're afraid of their kids being gay. This is for people who feel alone and this is for everyone who's ever felt alone. This video, <laughs> this video is my story and thank you for listening if you decide to listen all the way through. <coughs> Okay, so with um, being a lesbian, <laughs> I have never really felt comfortable in the past saying that, hey, I'm a lesbian, hey, I like girls, hey, girls are fucking beautiful. And there's people out there who can't come out because they aren't safe. And that was my situation for a while. But since I joined the military, which is the reason why I joined, to get away in order to have the freedom to be myself, um... It, I feel a lot less isolated, but growing up and all those years of me hiding it, uh, it's still hard for me to accept it. Uh, lately, I've been more, um, lately there's been more of an acceptance and I realize people are more accepting of gay people and it's beautiful, but at the same time, I can't help but feel alone and I feel bad and I feel as though now that I am in a safe place, now that I am in the military where I have my money and my shelter and all these things, I feel like um, it's still hard for me to come out and say, hey, this is who I am, because now it's the whole fear of losing people and losing my family and losing my friends. And at some points, I do feel like if they can't accept me for who I am, then I don't need them around. But at the same time, it's people who I have always had in my life. That being said, <laughs> I'm so isolated from my family because I don't want them to know anything about me. I don't want them to know, I didn't want them to know that I was gay. I didn't want them to see me as this person who they've known all their life and now they don't truly know because suddenly she's gay. And, <coughs> and I know, I know, I know and I know I'm a lot more than my sexuality, but that's what people tend to see. So when I was deployed, I was going through hard times and I was feeling very isolated and friends I thought were friends stopped talking to me and I decided to make this video, the video that you just saw and post it. And it just felt wrong to me at the time. It, I never ended up posting it because um, it wasn't something that I want my, wanted my family to come across and it wasn't something that at the time I felt comfortable with and now with everything I just ended up posting it. Um, so <clears throat> a lot of you watching this probably already know this and maybe the people who are watching this currently don't know. Yesterday I came out to my family, um, my mom, my dad, my brothers and my sister, my aunt and my cousin. And it was honestly the most terrifying thing I've ever had to do. Um, I was in tears. I was shaking. I was texting my friends. I was like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I can't take it back. I was I was near a panic attack um, the moment that I did it. And I did it right before I went to work thinking that work would be something that completely took my mind off of it and I wouldn't have to worry about it. Um, that wasn't true. But the thing is... Um, the moment that I told my friends, like I posted it on Twitter as a joke, me comes out to my family to after today, and it started off as a joke, but the moment that I posted it, I realized that I had to, like at that moment, the moment I pressed in, I realized that I really was going to come out, and that I was no longer living, comfortable living a lie, and not being able to be a tr my true self because of fear for what my family would do or what they would say. And it took me so long to find the strength and the courage to come out. And it only came when what happened in Orlando happened. <clears throat> so, <laughs> I am a lesbian. I am a girl who likes girls. And even though I'm gay, that doesn't define who I am. It's a part of me, but so is the fact that I have brown eyes. Um, I can't change that more than I can change my sexu sexuality. And I know that, and I've known that I was gay all my life, and I was terrified of that. And I wasn't terrified because I was gay. I wasn't terrified because I was different. I wasn't terrified because I liked a member of the same sex. I was scared, like, 
grew my bones scared and terrified because of how my family, well, because I was afraid of what would happen when my family found out. I was afraid how they would treat me, and I was afraid, I was so scared that they wouldn't love me for me. And um, it's hard because you you're around all the, you're around these people all your life and you love them with everything you you have and no matter what you would want them to be to accept you but feeling that you're something that they'll never accept it hurts and it's hard thing it's a hard thing to carry with you so the feeling that you'll like disappoint your family um, the feeling that they'll never talk to you again and it was hard, which is why I hid it for so long. But um, with the whole Orlando thing and all that coming up together and me feeling like I could never be myself, me feeling that I could never tell my family who I love if I ever decide to be in a relationship again, it was just so much to me that I decided that it was time. And one of the major reasons of me deciding that it was time is that I found the strength to come out because I have the biggest and the best support system I've ever had all my life um so <laughs> about two months ago uh i'm in i go to conventions uh like once upon a time conventions comic cons and stuff like that um and one girl she changed the world her name is lucy she decided to put us all in a huge group chat called uh swin j and it turned into nibble swin and this whole thing and we all became so close and that support system is 20 plus girls behind me so when that whole thing was coming when I decided to come out I was crying and then I was offered by so many of those um, by offered by so many of my friends like hey call me Shara Alex everyone or just like hey call me if you're upset just I want to make sure that you're okay call me we're worried you're so brave and then when I posted it on Twitter, you had everybody, for people that don't even follow me, people that I don't even know, just messaging me and replying to the tweet saying, I'm so proud of you. I wish that I could be as brave as you were because you came out to your family. And that's something to me that I feel like if you're going to come out, you should have. You should know that you will be supported. Even if it's not by your family, it'll be by your community. Um, like, I personally will always support you if you decide to come out. My Twitter handle is... Queen Mills with three L's. Um, I am there for people, and it's so great to see that there's people out there that are there to, for me because I honestly never thought that I would do this. I never thought that I would come out, and I never thought that when I did come out, there would be people who are just as amazing as Nibble Swin have been for me and how Rogue Swin have been for me. And I'm so happy that I found them. Um, two of my friends stayed on video, stayed video chatting with me for 10 hours um, because they knew that I was having a hard time and they just called me and everybody else, they weren't upset that I wouldn't video chat with them because they knew that I couldn't, I couldn't be around too many people. But Jess and Brenda, they were there this entire day after me coming out and dealing with the repercussions of all that and they were there making me laugh making me smile and it's stuff like that that gets me um and i can't express how much these girls mean to me um i really don't know where i would be without them in my life and that's why i think it's very important um to have that if you're going to come out um it's important to have a support system and it's important to have people there for you who will help you and love you and hope hope there will be the best there for you and I just hope you know that you're not a failure like if you decide to come out if you can't accept yourself that you're gay I want to let you know that you there is nothing wrong with being gay I thought for a long time for maybe all of my middle school years that there was something wrong with me being gay but then I realized it's nothing wrong and if someone makes you feel like a failure or a disappointment for being the way you are it's something that you cannot change that's on them it is not on you it's not on us for n being this way there's nothing wrong with being this way and for family and friends of people who are coming out and you feel like you can't accept them I just have one thing to say to you really all we want 
is that we want to be loved for who we are. We want people to care about, we want people here that will care about us. And it hurts so much to have people you love and trust, people who say that they'll love you unconditionally, just try to drop you at the dime of the hat just because they found you're gay. Saying that you're gay doesn't mean that you're a different person. Finding out that someone's gay, they probably know, they could have known their entire life. They probably, they could have just found out. That doesn't mean that it changed who they are on the inside. And acceptance and making sure that you're there for the person, it goes so far, and I hope you understand that. Um, <laughs> but this is my video, and I know that I'm probably very awkward, and you guys really didn't want to hear all this mess. But I just felt the need to put this out there because you guys... And by you guys, I mean the entire LGBT community. Um, we're family. And yesterday, we had a huge hit of 50 people dying in Orlando, which hurt because I'm from Florida, and it's, it hit close to home with me. And then 52 people injured. We need to band together. We need to not be afraid to be who we are because that is what they want. They want fair. They want us to be afraid. A lot of times... Um, it's easier to knock us down than to try to build each other up. Right now is not the time to build, to tear each other down. Right now is the time to get together, get with your friends, and just keep each other safe and comfortable. Um, my friends are afraid of going to Pride because they're afraid of what might happen there. There's strength in numbers, and don't let, be, just watch out for everybody, please. Thank you for watching this. Um.